Hello and welcome to today's talk about the Yeast 2 hybrid screen or also called Yeast 2 hybrid system. The Yeast 2 hybrid system is a technique to determine protein-protein interactions. To show the interactions of the proteins we use reported genes. I'll just start off to explain the basic principle. What happens if the two proteins interact? Protein X and protein Y have some domains where they interact. Then the reported gene should get expressed. If the proteins do not interact, however, we have no expression of the reported gene. That is just the basic principle behind this and now I will explain you how the yeast to hybrid system works. And to do that I start off with transcription activation. Here we have a basic DNA sequence and we have a promoter sequence upstream of a gene sequence. And the first thing which happens is that the transcription factor binds to the promoter region. Then the transcription factor recruits RNA polymerase 2. RNA polymerase 2 can now read the gene sequence and synthesize RNA. For the yeast to hybrid system we use this and manipulate the transcription factor. So we can split it into two domains. We have the DNA binding domain which binds to the DNA and we have an activator domain. This domain will recruit RNA polymerase later to activate transcription. And now we fuse our both proteins of interest, protein X and protein Y, to each of the domains. So protein X we fuse to the DNA binding domain and protein Y we just fuse to the activator domain. What happens? The DNA binding domain will bind to the DNA in the promoter region. If protein X and protein Y will interact how they do it in this case here, that will also bring the activator domain closely to the gene region. That means RNA polymerase 2 can be recruited which leads to the transcription of the gene. What happens if they don't interact? Still, the DNA binding domain will bind to DNA in the promoter region. But protein X and protein Y in this case are different, they show no interaction. The activator domain does not come closely enough to the gene region, no polymerase is recruited and that means we have no transcription in this case. This is a yeast to hybrid system and I prepared one example how it is done in the lab. Here we have a gene sequence of the HIS3 gene and HIS3 is required for histidine biosynthesis. That means without the gene cells will not grow on histidine depleted media. And HIS3 in this case is our reporter gene. So here we fused the DNA binding domain to a protein X. And this is called the bait, since the DNA binding domain will bind to DNA and now should attract the prey, which is protein Y. The protein Y, the prey, is fused to our activator domain. Here in this case, the proteins show interaction. The bait interacts with the prey. The activator domain comes closely to the HIS3 gene region, recruits RNA polymerase 2, which can then transcribe the HIS3 RNA. How can we select for that on a plate? So we have a medium which lacks histidine, so there's no histidine in our medium. So if the proteins do not interact here, that means HIS3 is not transcribed, which will lead to no growth of the yeast. So we will see empty plates. However, if we detect that yeast growth on the plates, that means the reported gene HIS3 was transcribed, that leads us to the assumption that protein X and Y interact. That was it for the yeast to hybrid system and I hope it was helpful for you. If there are still some open questions just write them in the comments and thanks for watching, bye.